Okay, so let's send a challenge. Ah, here is challenging. Nice graphics, easy to see. Oh, what are you thinking about? You are looking how it can be the most painful. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> so that I give him up a phone. He wants to be even rude. Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world, with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive Chessable courses. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world, fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. Hey folks. Um... I'm very excited. I haven't done this for a long time, and now there are very nice changes. So um, now I'm going to play with you guys. And the good thing is, uh, I can just choose my opponent's random. So this is perfect. Okay, let's go. Mm hmm We're waiting on Lily. Okay. It's probably clipping. So we'll abort this game and do somebody else. Is that random? Okay. Gonna play the English. D three. Okay, now we have to take and F five E four. F three Queen H five. F five E four. D six. Yeah. G three. Mm hmm. Now this is supposedly a, a pretty decent version, this whole opening. Aha, uh -huh. this is a mistake, E3, normally, because the bishop is going to be trapped in C1. Uh huh. Let's play three with the idea of c5. I think I'm going to stop it. I'm having popcorn that I made myself. So, and this is breakfast. Breakfast popcorn. When you're an adult, you're allowed to make your own rules. <laughs> 
Okay, so we'll play c5, d4, knight, d4, dc, d5. Yeah, this seems to be in our very solid. I mean, g5 is possible. I want to play an instructive here. h4. Okay. Now, after king h8, some things will collapse here. I have a feeling. Queen c2. What if I take? Okay. Queen a4. Bishop b6, bishop b7. This looks fine. I have knight e4 there, which should be very nice. Okay, now I can play queen c7 and play. I could have played b6. So, uh huh. What is this? Knight d5. This is the blunder field. Now I can play knight b6. You have to speed up a little. In order, in order not to lose on time. Yeah. Okay, this is good. All right, set random. Oh, hi. Little carrot. Hmm. Little Gary is just sleeping for a while. Oh no. Okay. Let's go. Little Gary is very shy. He allowed me to get some solid position out of the out of the king's camp. Why not? Hmm. 
Okay. Now we're going to try to play root g1, h4. And get some attack. So far, very logical. Very logical play. Now I'll triple on the G file and create some threats. The king is very safe. Now. Queen D7. Okay. Rook G1. H5 is in top. Rook h5, bishop h5, queen g5, bishop g6, h5. Seems to be crushing. Okay. Oh, we've got to play against Felix, the highest rated. I think Rick Ash played like this against me. It was some bliss. Yeah, he played 95, I think. So 97. C4. It's a very strange line that I like to play. It's a bit. Honestly, it's a bit silly to play like this with white. But, you know. It's provocative, and that's what I like. Okay, so an a1, a5, six, eight, four, four. No, I don't want to play at four. That's just for rule the knight c3. Yeah. Okay. I'll lose a 4G5. I'm not really afraid of that. 
I'm playing quite often there over it. Bishop is six. The ninety four. This is some kind of a King's Indian looking position. Ninety five EDA, I think this is. Bishop f5, bishop c3. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, is she for a threat yet? Maybe it is already. Anyway, I gotta speed up. Okay, let's be let's be humble. As long as I'm humble and fast, things should be fine. I think I tricked him, but I gotta play fast. Nevertheless. X. Okay. Oh, okay, Chase. Oh, my opponent resigned. Yeah, this was a pretty intense game. Okay. Uh, now we accept Ren. Once we've beaten a high rated player. Now time to have fun. Watch your slot. Okay. Mm 
This is this weird line. You have to start playing some random moves. Like rookie eight, I think. B5 is not available yet. Okay, let's play it. I'm trying to meet knight d5 with bishop d5 and bishop d8 and play some b6 type of business for d4 in order to justify the session of rook on e8. Okay, now this allows b5, so b5 should be played. <clears throat> yeah, they normally play a rook f one in this type of structures to stop this b5 type of business. Mm -hmm. Now, we can of course take the pawn, and we can also play a rook c8. I wasn't sure rook c8 or rook b8 was better. Yes, this is fine for me. I take the bishop g bishop, even bishop d7. Now I fight the fourth time. Looks pretty good. Rook C1. This is a humble approach. Oh, I could have put Bishop D5 as well. Doesn't matter. This, this is not looking good for white. But now you guys have a chance. I'm running out of popcorn. Let me get the last bits. Yes. Did I bond or something? Probably. But it's not a big deal. Eh, okay. Okay, this time I have to play the shoot fire.
All right. Okay, there's one guy offered zillion offers, so let me just play with him. He's very eager. He's a GM. Probably not, but the name. So, fascinating fact about popcorn. I've, uh, there's this great anthropological book. Um, guns, germs, and steel. Yeah. Oh, which have uh, read. Yeah. Maybe six years ago. And I, in that book, I understood that, in fact, that's a fascinating story with all those uh, uh, grains, you know, uh, like wheat, uh, corn, and every type of thing like that. And the fact is that uh, all of those cultures, the way they spread, they spread by popping. And, uh, you know, the seed hits and then it pops and uh, what is this there for? And uh, you basically uh, they reproduce that way. Basically, get them reproduced that way. And what happens? So when we're talking about genetically modified things, so what happened? Of course, people, you wouldn't uh, be able to keep your crop. I mean, once we started farming, we basically made sure that none of this. Uh, things were popping anymore. So it's a genetically modified uh, wheat that we're eating or genetically modified, uh, let's say, sorghum or rice, because they they all were intended to be popping. I don't know if this information will help you, but I think it's quite interesting. And that book definitely is Highly recommend it. Okay. I think I think this game is effectively done. I managed to trick my opponent by playing G5. I'm not sure it's it's a good move, but it looked pretty convincing. I can take this. Why not? Oh. Okay. Accept trend. Sure came on deep. C5, very ambitious. Okay. Oh, let's do the 
let's do the expansion. It did work in the last game. So, 95. I will take and then capture. Recapture one of the pawns. Let's play F6. Okay. Now I can play a6. Or is this dangerous? Maybe it's dangerous. Mm. Let me just hurt that. Let's just be on the safe side. I kind of like this central structure. Got a bit lucky here. Okay. This doesn't work for white. Now I'll get you. All right, so let's remove these challenges because I played against this player. Okay, now we can accept Brian. Catcher in the right. JD7. It's an interesting writer, but uh, I always found him a bit too pretentious. I always felt like he's, you know, he's trying to. Show the. Reader that 
he is very knowledgeable and sophisticated. Well, maybe it's just me. I've I've tried to read it. I mean, I've read it twenty, maybe you know, with the, with some of the books you have to try to reread them many years later. And also, in order to understand the message, and sometimes it takes many years. <clears throat> I remember reading uh, the the beat game of Hesse, <clears throat> which is a very interesting book, and then uh, in there are, I think, two extra novels in the end of the book, like uh, some sort of a postscriptum. And there was one story which I never understood at that time. So it was a story of uh, two priests and they were in neighboring towns and one of the priests was he was listening to people who would come to confess to him and he would be very vocal he would say you know you did this and that this is wrong and you should do this and that in order to kind of redeem yourself, you know, or, you know, uh, work on yourself. And another priest was just listening to people without really judging or saying it. And uh, one day, maybe, 20, year, 20 years pass, and uh, they decide to meet each other, I mean, independent of each other, you know, just to understand the, the method, you know. They don't know what's, what's really right or what's really wrong. They just want to understand. And they uh, they go on this uh, kind of a uh, journey to meet each other, and they meet uh, without really knowing that this is him or this is the other guy, and they meet uh, in some tavern. And the guy who was not judging and kind of kind tells the other guy, you know, the let's say the let's call him the the angry uh, priest. I want, uh, you know, I want to serve, and please accept me as your servant, and I will help. And so that's the end of the story. And for a long time, I couldn't understand. I was wondering, you know, aren't they kind of equal? Why, why does the, you know, the guy who doesn't judge have to serve the guy who judges? And then it took me about definitely more than 10 years. And then I started understanding. So the guy who's angry, I mean, who's telling the things, this is the 
the truth. And the guy who's kind and who's just listening and uh, kind of, uh, you know, forgiving people is represents love. And so then it started making sense. So you need to give people the truth and uh, love has to serve, you know, love has to be applied. But first, the most important comes the truth. So uh, that's, that's how I understood this story and that and uh, i really like uh, generally going into you know reading things and rereading things and trying to understand them. i think i went too far into into other things and chess so I'll concentrate on the games Okay. Everybody's playing Cecil. Including myself. A6. Let's try nice C3. Yeah, this is a this is the idea of this line. You're trying to play against the G6 bishop. I don't think C4 works. I will take 94. I mean, there are just too many open lines. Things should work for me. Even ninety four, if you want it, and F four. <laughs> Looks scary for black. Yeah, now this should be very good for me. Because it takes a long time for bishops, Bishop to come out of it. So. <clears throat> I saw a weird dream to me. I, I saw Magnus was applying, not applying. He got a letter from, I, we were doing some tournament and, and he got a letter from Nobel Committee. And uh, he was there and uh, he wasn't sure if he got the Nobel Prize or not. And and I was there, I told him, definitely, you need to get a Nobel Prize. Who else is going to get it? But it was kind of weird 
and somehow he didn't get it. But uh, then, then I started thinking, you know, I think chess players should definitely get something like the Nobel Prize. I mean, it's an, a very intellectual field with a lot of, you know, novelties and discoveries. Hopefully one day people will recognize our game. Although since it's in the field of mathematics and mathematics doesn't get the Nobel Prize, so I guess it does make sense. Okay, now I'm going to make EV95. This is very, very scary. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, let's play more random. This is a sort of trick. You're kind of asking your opponent to play queen d5 in order to meet with bishop d7. <laughs> Only one purpose. <laughs> so without the e5 pawn, why this probe is slightly better? But with the 5 pawn, you know, he starts defending it and starts getting worried. This is such an incorrect opening that it's wonderful to play it. You know what I love? I love how people write books about <laughs> some really random, completely crazy things. <laughs> and they try to justify those openings. This is pretty hilarious for me. And, you know, they find some, oh, yeah, this. If your opponent plays like this, then it's wonderful. If your opponent plays like this, then it's wonderful. And like in the last paragraph of the book, uh, they mentioned, yeah, you know, we also have to warn you a bit that probably this line is losing of this and that. But this is already in the last chapter, you know, in a small... Uh, sized font it's written there this is dangerous for your health this opening but of course you need those books as well i mean you can't just have 
1,000 books about Berlin. And also, Berlin is type of opening that you cannot really analyze. Because it all seems trowish. Okay, knight f3 or knight d3? Knight f3 or knight d3? Knight f3. Now we get the bishop, we come back. And then we can have a long cut. The whole point of the sub. You give a pawn and then. Actually, I'm not so sure there's a point to this opening, but if I was a book writer and I had to advertise, I would probably mention it. You get the bishop on b7, and then you can long cast. I haven't written books, but I done a chessable course, which is very good. And the second part is going to come out. Uh, I didn't do any chessable course on any openings because I find that to be a bit boring. I want to do something that is uh, personal. So I did a course on things that I've learned in chess. I hope you guys will like it. Okay, so night of four. Ah, this is better, yeah. 92, g3. Okay, this worked. Oh, here. Yes, we have to play against somebody higher rated as well. Oh, this is this is this is our friend from St. Louis. It's a really nice guy. Okay. I should just develop.
Yeah, this is Nico. <clears throat> Did Nico get disconnected? <clears throat> Probably. It's a pity. Is there a way to abort a game? Hmm. Something happened. Sorry about this, guys. It can happen to, to you when you don't expect it. I think. Okay, Nico. Let me offer you a draw. Yes. Okay, except random. I think this line is good for white. What about 91? Do, do I really want to do that? Or I just want to play 90. Or no, no, let's try. <clears throat> I don't like this F3 stuff. Because 926 is anyway displaced. Yeah, see, that has to go all the way to C7. Now, this is supposed to be very, very bad for black. <laughs> this, this kind of openings are always very appealing. <laughs> well, when you're, you know, when you just uh, think that you can play for one with black, then you get this type of passive position against somebody strong, and you realize that this opening is is not good. Yeah. Yeah, black is just gonna get either mated or get the losing end game.
Yeah, he has to play Queen so. <sighs> yeah, let's just go for the end game. Why not? Okay. I didn't play my best, but position is still technical. Yeah, and now just rook f6 and then everything collapses. I didn't have to do this, but that's doesn't really matter. Okay. Mr. Manatee. Monetes are sweet. Okay, we'll report this one and challenge somebody else. Oh, this is a nice name. Pierre Fritz Gerald Conrad Jacobs. Okay, D4 doesn't work, but it takes D4. And Bishop B3? Yeah, Bishop B3. Wins is seven. Oh, we don't have to force anything. In this type of schemes, bringing the knight to g3 is so natural that you don't have to worry that it's wrong. Normally, it's right.
Yeah, black doesn't have anywhere to pass, so this is this is going to be a disaster quite soon. Now to come to D four, the thing is going to hang. How do I answer? Oh, so but ED is forced. Yeah, dear Pierre Fritz Gerald Conrad Jacobs, this is this is not going to be too much fun for me, I'm afraid. Mm. All right. We'll use the double fan kit. Ninety two. Quincy two. Okay, I will give up the center, but I will have a pawn before. This is a decent trade off. And a fun, very logical. But now I get to play e5. So not knight f1 and bishop e3 somehow are not, not looking great together. Queen B1, B5.
Now I can take and play bishop a6, because the knight will get trapped on d6. Okay. Mariam Fatima doesn't believe. This is not going to work. Oh, maybe I can deliver the the mate. What's it called? I forgot. That was in English. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I have to abort this one. Let me play somebody else. Yeah, sometimes they call this opening the classical, sometimes they call it the, the modern. I don't really know what's the name of it. Modern classic. Okay, what happens if I play E5? Maybe I should have taken first and so six and then played if I ninety four. Now C4 is coming. Yeah, looks very good for me. Looks like I'm 
going to dominate the dark squares. <sighs> if I don't fall asleep, that is. Okay, let's take. What should I play? A3, bishop c4. I think A3 looks nice. A3 and maybe something like rook d3. I don't want to allow knight d3. So. Yeah. Rook c5, and the eight pawn is going to roll. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, no, I played against this player already. Sorry. Yes. Okay, gotta abort this one. Sorry about it. Oh, no, I played against her. Uh, yes, let's go.
Oh, time to play Truxler. It's one of the greatest discoveries, I think, with many chess players. When you're starting to learn to play, and then you realize there is an opening like Trexler. I think it's really fascinating. Or, you know, this, uh, there's also this opening. When you go uh, D5 instead of Bishop C5, you D B5. It's also pretty spectacular. Okay, now just take and do the typical Troxlerian Queen E. I was like thinking about uh, these times when people just discovered that something like Trestler was possible. I mean, this. I mean, uh, this uh, first analysis of it must have been pretty incredible. <laughs> Queen H5. Going to be. This is going to be fun, but only for me. <laughs> okay, I can take. GF is forced. And then, uh, yeah, then I can just play Queen H4. And, you know, slowly. Rook G1, G6, that's by G6. Rook G2. Oh, I, I can, of course, take, but I don't have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Play Fetcher in the Rhine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, this is probably the last game I'm going to play today, but I'm going to do the Panther Blitz again. So, all of you who didn't get a chance to play this time, 
look forward to be playing you next time. And now let's have some fun. Okay, can I play F6? I probably can, and this should be clear. Yeah, seems to be in order. Or maybe even you know, retreat with the rook or queen f1. Yeah, maybe queen f1. So. Yeah, queen f1 is DC seems to be strange. Mm -hmm. And a five can take this. Take only six and just a little. <clears throat> Now the rook will come. Queen G four mm. ninety four should be the move. Okay, shade. Let's just bring the queen close. And I can give a check. And now, uh, there are many wins for me, but I think that G5. A solid way. So thank you all, it was a lot of fun, and hopefully play in the near future. So have a great day, bye-bye. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode, choose from a range of time controls, or create a custom game, and get paired with players from around the world, fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. Chessable, the definitive solution for studying chess. Choose from one of the largest online chess libraries in the world with hundreds of titles ranging from classic books through to our exclusive Chessable courses.
Okay, so let's send a challenge. Ah, here is challenging. Nice graphics, easy to see. Oh, what are you thinking about? You're looking how it can be the most painful? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. fine. <laughs> so that I give him up a phone. He wants to be even rude. <laughs> <laughs>